Indigenous people actually have a tobacco prevalence twice that of the non-Indigenous population and they also have shorter life expectancies of about 10 years and tobacco use is a serious health burden that contributes to this gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. So if we can do something to really help reduce tobacco prevalence, we can actually help to close the gap. My research is actually about identifying what types of interventions we can use to help Aboriginal people try and quit smoking and also from a cultural perspective what do we really need to be doing to try and help close the gap in disadvantage. As part of my PhD I did a randomised control trial of smokers in the hospital who have come in because of a heart attack or a stroke or vascular disease and at the end of our 12 month follow up period in our medication group we had 31% of people quit smoking continuously over that 12 months and in our control group that just got counselling over the phone we had 21% of people quit smoking and this is actually really important because even unassisted quit attempts is normally around 3% so just by making a simple phone call at the patient's bedside we actually got 21% of people to quit smoking. What we found is that medications such as nicotine patches actually can be effective in helping Aboriginal people to quit smoking. But the most important part is it needs to be multifaceted. It can't just be the doctors saying that you need to quit smoking. It needs to be the family, community, sporting institutes, the media. It needs to be really a collective of people coming together and saying we can actually stop this, we can make a difference. I've been really lucky that the research that I'm involved in has already made a really big impact in terms of trying to create awareness about these issues. My work has also been used to actually underpin changes to clinical practice and policy in South Australia. This research is important to me because it's actually about making a real practical difference in people's lives. It's one thing to do research on the bench side in a laboratory, but another step entirely to actually see that work being translated into clinical practice in hospitals and actually being able to help patients. My name is Kristen Carson and I'm a Senior Medical Research Scientist at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and a PhD student with the University of Adelaide in the School of Medicine.